editing Jonah here. I know you don't typically get to see my lovely face, but I wanted to pop in for a second and uh, give a trigger warning that the beginning of this content does include references to homophobia. Um, and I know I say it in the video, but I'm going to repeat it here. Let me turn my Don't come at me. I am not homophobic. I am a member of the uh, LGBTQ community. I am pansexual. I have a daughter who is a lesbian. And my husband is an ally. So my entire family, well, my me, my husband, my kids, are all either a member or an ally. I grew up in the rural South. I was in the closet to most people other than my husband and kids and a few select friends until I was 44. I am now 44. So, I know what it's like to live in a homophobic community and to grow up in a homophobic family. Sorry, I'm pushing a cat, trying to keep the cat from coming and screaming. And um, it's, I just wanted to give you that trigger warning because I know that does trigger a lot of people. I grew up in a preacher household. So my dad was a preacher. Well, there's the cat. Or one of them. And so I get it. And I can understand why it triggers because it used to trigger me. And it took a lot of healing work to get past all that. So just giving you a heads up. If you want to skip the beginning of the video of me giving her backstory, you will not hurt my feelings. I hope y'all have a great day. On to the video. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be starting a new legacy series. We're going to be starting the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. This is my generation one Sim. I totally love her. She um so much fun to create and creating the story for her. So the rules of the Whimsy Stories Challenge. But it was started by Kate, I hope I'm saying this right, Reed, Kate Raid, Reed. I will leave a link down below for her uh, Tumblr where the you'll find the rules for this challenge. But for Generation 1, without a home but not without love, our story begins as most stories do with endurance. You are homeless. You've gone out into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. As a child, you never had your own home. You were bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a suburban home to call your own, with a family of your own. As you have since, you were a young child. You long for a life of normalcy. You were tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken. So you search for joy in the mundane. Life is lonely at first, but fortunately you find love with another homeless Sim. You have nothing, but it feels like absolutely everything with your partner by your side. You are a carefree, nature-loving, and naive dreamer. Some may call you a hippie, but you just call yourself happy. From the ground up, you create. Create candles, fabricate your own furniture, and search dumpsters to make it by. Eventually, you have a home of your own, built by your own two hands. A tiny home. Not only is this a tiny home, but it is a suburban tiny home. Your dream is finally realized. You will stay in this comfy, small, shoebox-sized home for the rest of your life, growing in your garden, 
raising your children, and selling the things you make for an income at the local markets. Your goals are to find love while homeless. I have created a sim for her that we will meet later. Not sure when, but we'll come across her later. Name all children after nature. Must live in a suburban style tiny home that you build cheat free for their entire life. A micro home for a young adult. Afterwards, you may upgrade. Foster a healthy garden. Plant parent. I mean, this house is full of plants which surprisingly fit in 32 tiles. Have at least three tattoos. We've already accomplished that one. Master the fabrication handiness wellness skills. Have loves outdoor trait and freegan traits. Complete maker aspiration. Be self-employed with a freelance simply crafted career. Rarely wear makeup and love to dress casually. I think I've got the rarely wear makeup and the dress casually thing set. So I think if anything, I only put some lip gloss on her on a couple of outfits. But the rest of the time, she's makeup free. And I tried to give her a boho look so that it was more of a hippie-ish look. I do love her, though. She is super cute. She does have um, the traits that is required. I do have a mod that gives me some extra traits. So I gave her the loves, um, the maker trait. And... I gave her the Green Fiend. Well, she has Loves Outdoors, Maker, Freegan, Recycle Disciple, Green Fiend. And she's a muser because of the creative aspiration to be the master maker. She does rarely wear makeup. Her name is Addison Freeman. And as you can see, she has been here a little bit. Because this is not the first time I have filmed this. This is the second time I have tried filming this. The first time I did not realize I was having audio technical difficulties. So, I did delete that save file and start it all over. But, anyway, here we are. Join that career. So, I guess that would be the first thing that we do. Let me clear that little dot. I, I hate that little dot. Let me know there's something new there. Even though it's the same thing every time. Oh, I also downloaded a weather app, so that when we, if we do travel, I can check the weather before I go. All right, let's get Miss Addison a job. And then we're going dumpster diving. I have never played huh. in this place before. Freelance. We are doing the Simply Crafted. Okay. So, we have entered the freelance career. Welcome to the world of freelancing. We're very happy to have you in our talent pool. After selecting an agency, you'll be able to use our services. Please don't set yourself on fire. To find jobs posted by clients that are relevant to your interests and expertise. Some words of advice. Always be polite to clients. Finish all your tasks on time or early. Oh, and make sure you have the tools of the trade. We have high hopes for you and wish you the best of luck. Oh, you're you're gonna go ahead and roast some marshmallows. Are you hungry? You're not even hungry. Okay. That annoys me that it tries to give me go to box oh. all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead. And go over here. I did download a maker space. I did have to leave it as a community lot though because of just starting in this world. It would not let me change it to a maker's space. So, because it has some active thing. So, I left it as a community lot. But I do like this little one. It's the Cory Maker Space if you are looking for it on the gallery. It is by, let's see here. Uh, 
went to the gallery, my library. It's Cholsey. Yeah, it's Cholsey. This lovely girl, or they, them, this lovely person, here. Not sure of their pronouns. Shame on me to assume. Okay, let's go back into this mode. Now, I don't know if we have a dumpster here or not, but we are fixing to find out. If we do, but I don't think we do. There's kind of, oh, we do. We, there's nothing in it. Dang it. Uh, check latest gossip. Let's do that. Was it good? Huh. Call now for new classes that can apply to you. It appears all the slips with a number two have been removed. Really? So it wasn't that good. Uh, okay, we can't do any of that, so. Let's see. We do need to find a dumpster and see if we can go dumpster diving because we're going to need some stuff. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Alright. Let's find the dumpster. Oh, we got stuff. Dive for deals, sort out recyclables and compostables because I know she's going to start. Um, go ahead and dive for meals too. She's got to start her garden, so. Okay. Hi, Addison. It's your job aid call. And just a friendly reminder that there are plenty of gigs available to work on if you're interested in earning some money. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure, and you just throw it up there. Let's see. To fizz or not to fizz? I don't have the juice fizzing thing. Is there any of these that I do have? Does not look like it. Nope. Come on. Beat you to it, lady. Ha ha ha. Who is this bitch? Cranky. Addison found Coke, all whatever, in up there, but it may be in her Okay. Pasta cream of air. Yum yum. Uh, dive for ingredients. And dive for deals. Have I not cleaned it out yet? Oh. Uh -huh. Spicy mushroom soup. Well, at least she's got some food. Too bad I don't have a little fridge to put it in, though. So it'll eventually run. Yeah, 
check my household inventory and see what we got going on in here. Oh, I can't do that here. Dang it. Get out. Oh, Rob Blood. How you feeling quality? Chef Lips. Absolute fat. Wash. Don't rub on Taro. Oh, vegetarian stuff. Man, it's already spoiled. Dang it. Kinnick, this one's not. Oh, Naya. Tonga. Oh, she found six bucks. Anything else? Sure, Toma. Oh, oh. Shabadoo. From green pain, oh, being an owner of this restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's not the funnest thing in the world. But at least you found us some good stuff. Anything else? What's up, Okay. Such language. Inventory. All right, let's see. We are going to recycle that. All the trash piles. I need to check those out first before I recycle those. Um. Well, I might as well recycle them because I can't sell them. So I can only sell things that I made. And I don't exactly need them right now. So. Well, you can quit chatting with Blossom. Guess I can add these people to the social bunny. But a little bit about her backstory. The reason why she was bounced from household to household, well, her family wasn't exactly in the best shape to take care of her in the first place. But once they found out that she was gay, they really didn't want to take care of her. So everybody just kept passing her around. And before you come at me, I live in the South. And I am not straight. I can understand what it was like because I was I grew up as a preacher's child and I stayed in the closet because of that and did not even come out to my mother until I was 44 years old so there you go and for those who wonder because I am married to a man I am pansexual and I have a lesbian daughter so I am a member of the community and I know what it's like to feel like your family doesn't want anything to do with you. So there's that. What's this? I'm not going to sell that. I'm going to save it. And that we will end up eating. But first, I think we need to go see about taking a shower. Or at least going and washing up in this world. Oh, she looks, feels a lot better since she's in a, a new area. Oop. Okay, let's wash in and let's see. Brush teeth and clean. Now let's see. Ah, me too, dude. Me too. Oh, you can rummage for stuff in here. Okay. Clean her up a little bit and then we'll go rummage and get her all dirty again. So her family pretty much disowned her and just kept passing her off from one family member to the next. And uh, so she really just got tired of the broken lifestyle that she was being forced into. And she left on her own uh took what little bit of money she had and got herself a tent 
and um, then she scratched around and found some stuff for a small little fire and a couple of giant rocks for her to sit on so that's pr pretty much what she had on her back that's that's what she walked away with Go downstairs and see what we can find down here. Let her rummage in that and then we will check. Um, check for gigs. See if there's one that she can do now. Eventually, I'd like to be able to have one of the fabricators at her home lot, but you guys have a lot of money for that. That's a lot of rummaging. Ah, oh, she found some stuff. Let's see, is there anything? No. Fabrication level three. Level two. Producing. I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that. Let's Oh, that's cute. Alright, let's see what we can do in here. What is that's the little kids here. Yeah. I don't want to be doing that. Fabricate something? Um, I can fabricate a rug, can I? Yeah, just that one. Let her get. Let's sweat. What a rush. The boost of adrenaline is making Addison feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with the astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes best? Sure. I'm not sure what you did to get that, but okay. Excuse me, bitch. That's my fabricator. I was going to use that. You move. That's right. Stand in front of her and use it. Ha ha ha. It doesn't like either one of these either. Fabricate. Lady, would you move? I need to adjust something. Um, put this in here. I don't want to choose any of that. I don't want to cheat her. I'm just gonna ask him. No, no. I'll find it later. Alright. Can you move? Um, just go away. I'm so mean. What you spent serves you right, lady. Taking my machine. You got what you deserve. Of course, you watch Karma come get me. Addison Freeman is beginning her journey into the world of fabrication. Creating objects from a fabricator or create, crafting candles at the candle making table will increase the, her fabrication skill. Improve her fabrication skill to unlock more objects and candles. Okay. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. There we go. Hmm. 
How long is this gonna take? Oh, there we go. It didn't look like it was moving. <laughs> Somebody stuck up that down in the dumpster. Sprayed by the dial. Well, that sucks. Medicine is a maker. She finds joy in making things on the fabricator, woodworking table, and candle making stations. She becomes sad when she has, when she haven't, she hasn't completed a project recently. Sorry, grammar Nazi. All right, go to the bathroom, and then we will eat. Oh, we've got one more minute. We'll grab a serving. Oh, you gonna do that before you go to the bathroom? Tell me you're not gonna eat that on the toilet. That's just that makes just no sense. Did it make the? I don't know if that makes it or not. I don't know what happened to the rug. It's not in her inventory. Did it go into the household inventory? I know I can't see it here look at it when we get back to our home lot. <laughs> Let her eat. I feel better about that. What is Keisha? Malcolm? Angela Pleasant? wondering if are you she's eating on the toilet I knew it. it's disgusting let's see anybody else we'll see if her um potential romantic partner was around but i don't see her anywhere uh, girl. Mm, let's put it in there we can recycle that what are these oh that's the Okay. Hurry up, finish eating. Are you done? Alright, let's find a recycle machine and get rid of the rest of it. Recycle from inventory. Oh, there it is. Oh, nope, don't want to recycle that. Because I do want to recycle that. And that. Looks like an empty bowl to me, but. Okie dokie. Go recycle. Okay. Yes, it is. Have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. Okay, now here's my question. Who sends this to her? Because it doesn't tell. It's just a picture of her. So, is she sending this to herself? You received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. Hover over the recycler. I'm just really curious about that. Or the household funds to see how much you have. Bits and pieces are used to craft items. Yeah. Okay. I have three. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bits and pieces. Okay. Let's just go. I don't really care for either one of them, but okay. Let's do a funny message. The skeleton walks into Chris T and orders a boba tea and a mop. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, bits and pieces. Recycling things found in dumpsters. I guess the way we get more bits and pieces. Alright, let's check gigs and see if we found anything that she can do. Getting your workout in, I see. Okay. 
make a kind of Let's see. Anything yet? Nope. Can I make a candle? Nope. Still level one, six candle. Why can't I make a candle? I have the stuff. I don't know. Fabricate. Uh, eco upgrade part, fabricated end table, bookshelf. Let, let's do the bookshelf. Ah, uh, my, my bills. Got the bills. Tina Tinker. I still haven't seen the girl that I'm gonna end up with around. So maybe she'll show up eventually. Because I don't want to purposely go to her lot. I'd like for her to meet kind of organically. Double mission single bed, but it's impressive. Uh feels <laughs> just me opening the drink, y'all. <laughs> They say a brunette with either short curly hair or pigtails. Not sure what house hairstyle should be coming in because I gave her both. That would be her. So we can actually cook here, even though I'm a little bit scared of to let her cook something. We'll have to send her home soon, though, so she can go to bed. I'm guessing there's a reason why that flashes like that. Is it because it's like a voting period, or? Uh, I don't think she's got a, enough things, but we'll look. Get this fabricated and she's gonna go home and go to sleep. She is getting really tired. I guess I should have let her talk to some people. That was weird. 
see how this did feel. But who knows what to glitch anymore because everything's glitching ever since the last pack release and the updates and patches and it's all just a giant mess. Let's see who's still again. Nope. Not her. Oh, where are you going? Nope, nope, you're not planting, you're not planting. What, is there something upstairs to plant? Where? Oh, somebody put some seeds in there. Can I take them? No, it's wrong. Can I take them? No, what is that? What is that? Can I take it? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm going to plant it on my lot. If what now? Get you a bestie like Addison. Legit can't live without them. Dude, you don't even like... I don't even think you like me. Let's see. Do I have any first impressions of you? Nature maniac. Annoying. See, dude, we ain't besties. Sorry. And what about you, lady? First impression proper and polite. Interesting sound. Okay. Aww. That's adorable. What about you, Mr. Loom? Or Loom? No sentiment. You didn't even give off a first impression. Who's that? Volunteer move takes the travel home. Let's put dating out. We don't want to do that. Okay. What? How do I get it, that lot to go away? Okay. Alright, go home. follow her. See if we might meet our future. Why? Nope, not her. See if we might meet our future wife. <laughs> she is certainly confident in herself today. Even if she is exhausted, she's had a good day. Moving. Let's go a little faster. Oh, there's a place we can go fishing. I was looking for one of those when I was trying to play the first time around and couldn't find one. Like I said, I've never played in Evergreen Harbor, so 
this is a whole new experience for me. I guess it's sort of a blessing in disguise that the first time around, the audio was shit. <laughs> okay. Did you seriously follow me home? Okay. That's not creepy. What? Kind of wow. Now is not the time to be at this planet. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, I got good and all, but <laughs> now be. Read wilderness, gotcha. Alright, now go to sleep. She has had a good day and she is rock proud of herself, as she should be. She accomplished quite a bit today. Let's see, we got cooking skill to level one, fabrication is almost level two. We're level one in fitness and gardening and video gaming. So she's got to complete 40 gigs. Can't do that if there's nothing she can do yet. That's what I have to get up. Fertilize the bush. <laughs> um, talk to the plants, but her social needs are not very good. Addison has killer style. Every day is such a fluke. What the? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, ain't you cute? Just looks like she's sending these messages to herself. That's weird. Who posted that? Uh, post about travel. Traveling is fun, but sometimes it's good to just stay home. Oh, me, that's lighter. Ooh, there's nobody here really. Not yet, anyway. Let's see. And of course there'd be nothing in the dumpsters. What about the garbage can upstairs? Is there anything in those? Oh, I need to turn it back around. Rummage for assemblage. Let her rummage in those. We're going to have to find some food. has a bag over their head. Why are you huh. ashamed of yourself? Come here. Why are you ashamed of yourself? There's no reason to be ashamed of yourself. Jeb Harris. He's a teenager. Take that damn bag off. You don't need a bag on your head. I mean, like, seriously, uh -huh. dude. Anything? Yeah, I know you're hungry. I guess. Besides, I hate to go and call up here and spend some money. Grill. That's the cheapest thing we can cook. Fruit. Hot dog. I 
guess we're gonna be grilling some hot dogs and hoping for the best. Did we have something in the garbage can finally? Dive for meals. Let's do that instead. Am I stealing plants? Huh. Why yes, yes I am. Do I feel guilty about it? Not one fucking bit. Alright. Uh -huh. You wash your hands and brush your teeth. Leaders. That sounds redneckish. Oh. All right, you go take care of your hygiene. Thought like there's something new on the calendar every few minutes. Is that like a freaking glitch or something? is annoying as hell. All right. Let's go over here and see if we can fabricate that bookcase. Or bookshelf, excuse me. What is that? Stuff for deals when you get done with all that. You clown. There you go. Come on. Hurry up. We reach level two of the fabrication. She gets done with that. We'll have her check that, and then we'll see if there's any gigs. In my hand, the pillow must be classified as a dangerous object. Pillow fighter? That's fucking hilarious. So she's posting stuff on her own without me having to do it. That's funny as hell. Oh, 
What is that? Holiday, see me in the dumpster. What is that? Jasmine Holiday is here with a special challenge. Now you can collect Jasmine Holiday as one of the official Simmies gang. Complete your Simmies collection today. Okay, I've, I don't think I've ever collected those. Dive for a meal. She's hungry again. We don't want to talk. Sorry, Hector. You're going to come talk to me anyway. Of course you are. <laughs> we're gonna eat it because we're hungry. I should probably plant it. Behind the drop, Shirshik Rivaro. And hope it doesn't cause us some issues. All right. Well, while you're, oh, there's nothing else here. Alright, let's... Wash hands. Brush teeth. What's in there? Oh, we can have quick meal. Well, that's good. Good to know. I could have known that a few minutes ago. How hungry are you still? Um, we have some cheese crackers. And then you can cast your heart's content. And then I think we're going to go over closer to where I put her, um, future wife uh -huh. and see if we can uh -huh. run into her without going to her lot. I was hoping she would come over here but since she's not I think I will go closer to where she lives. I need to go dumpster diving anyway and since there's nothing left in this room there wasn't to go. Oh there is. It's good to hear your voice, Addison. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Joaquin like Chin a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Sure. Alright. Now then. Let's go over here. You can see this is where I put... I think her name's Casey. She is going to be kind of long. I don't. Let's go around here. Well, I'll go ahead and let her check for gigs. And then we'll come over here and... Is there anything in the belt? Okay. Full rugettes. Turns out dry clean only was not simply a suggestion. My new rug's toast. You know how to make rugs. And I've got some aliens. Maybe we can help each other out. Rug a dub dub. Why are showers so darn slippery? I sprained my ankle getting out of one last week. My doctor told me I could use a three day printed rug as an anti slip mat. Asked around and your service came up. Could you make me one? You might just save a life. Sure. Alright. Come over here. Dive for deals. Please don't take my dumpster. Don't be an ass. Asshole. I specifically said don't be one. Stop for deals. Thank you. Be nice if you'd let me pick that crap up off the ground. <laughs> uh, Put out recyclables. Uh, <laughs> 
sort out compostables. Not for days. Let's have to for some ingredients. Maybe we'll find something we can plant. Or ingredients to be to make stuff with. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, she's all stinky again. Oh. I guess so somebody locked it. Oh. Sure. God, you're an ass. Ugh. I'll just start a feed. Recycle. We're keeping those and the bookshelves and stuff. Uh, we'll do the discarded food and the trash pile. Starch. And then I think I will do what I gotta do to make that, or give them that rug. Gotta create the rug. And then uh, we will end this episode. Let's go back to the other place. Back over here. We unfortunately did not meet our soulmate. Yeah, I know. I stained it over. There's a computer. Let's go chat with our client. You heard that my dog is asleep and he's having a dream. The career, no. Freelancer. Chat with clients. Oh. Please don't be rude. Please don't be rude. When I tried to do this before, the client was rude as hell and she was pissed. Come on. Yabo. Siwa. Fabricate. A rug. Tag tag. So so. <laughs> Rude client. Some people just don't know how to communicate. Spirits are not high for this one. Great. Oh, here. Scrap that one. Yeah, I know, you're stinky as hell. Do what I say. A rug. Create your rug. Go here, brush teeth, and wash hands. What? What's tomorrow? Geekcon? Well, I guess we will attend Geekcon tomorrow. So I guess the next episode we'll go to Geekcon. I bet I can't take that. Hurry up. And then we will send a client for approval. One of the rugs. You also gotta go to the bathroom. 
I've really done a number on her today. It sure is taking you a long time to brush your damn teeth. Keep up the great work, Addison. Yay, I completed one. Go to the bathroom. It did not. What the fuck? It's not showing up that I completed it. I did. Guess I'll go to the home lot and send in the other room. We already got those, so we don't have to do that. Or we could, but I'm not going to. Let's go home. Alright, let's go in our household inventory. Maybe. That's not in the household inventory. Then where is it? You know what? Screw it. Do you need something? Nope. I'm going to send her to bed and I'm going to end this episode right here. If you have any thoughts on how to complete that maker thing, why it's not registering that I already sent it to the client? I sure would appreciate those comments. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun youtube -y things. And I will see y'all next time where hopefully we can get this shit figured out and she can complete her aspiration, or at least this part of her aspiration. And hopefully next episode she can organically meet her future soulmate. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a wonderful night, and I will talk to y'all later.